We are here with Kane Carroll talking about yoga, and he's going to do it all for us. All you have to do. <laughs> he's a familiar guest, of course, to the show. So we have a new program. It's called We Do Yoga For You. Um, <laughs> Otherwise known as Couch Potato Yoga. So one eight hundred yoga. That That's right. One eight hundred uh, Couch Potato Yoga. <laughs> yoga and you. So just, I do all the yoga twenty four yeah. hours a day. So and I have to we stay feel good. And you feel well, I feel so yeah. good. Yeah. So <laughs> what we do is we use the internet. I email the benefits to you, <laughs> to you. in an attachment. <laughs> Eventually we'll get it that way, won't we? Uh -huh. yeah. Technology. We were talking about that. Have you rested and you're uh, recovered I'm, from your trip? I'm all rested up. <laughs> Not recovered. It was a fabulous trip to Tibet. Yeah, but, but I did lose maybe two pounds. For me, that's a lot because I'm mm -hmm. thin. Yes. So I gained my two pounds back, and I'm feeling great. Feeling great. Yeah. How does how do you gain two pounds? I mean, because you eat healthy all the time. I just eat more. That's it. It, it, it. We didn't eat a lot when we were there. So it's quantity, wasn't. not quality. Yeah. Well, it's quality. <laughs> <laughs> a little bit more rice and vegetables. Yeah. I guess. Well, you're looking great. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about um, joint health. Mm -hmm. um, so in the past we've done programs where we've done more of the, the postures. Mm -hmm. um, we've talked about the stretching and those elements. We All of which I have forgotten. <laughs> <laughs> no, Probably she just watched you. Watch I know. <laughs> <laughs> so there's another way of moving that I'm going to show in a second. I'm going to talk a little bit about the theory. Um, you typically think of yoga in terms of like a posture where you stretch out mm -hmm. and um, you're talking about the muscles and the alignment mm -hmm. and all that. Of course, mm -hmm. the joints are, are healthy um, because they're in good alignment. Mm -hmm. There's another way to do yoga and that involves movement of the joints. It's more of a dynamic practice of mm -hmm. yoga. So I teach a class like this. Okay. Um, so just as this is a movement we might do for the wrist and then like circles. Ooh. Hmm. Um, even down to, we would work every single joint for people that have carpal tunnel, yeah. flicking. Wow. This is a great one. If you work on the computer I a lot. I this in school a lot. Yeah. You want to be able to make <laughs> enough power that you could, you could, Ooh. so you hold your fingers back with your Ouch. thumb. Ouch. Yeah. yeah, do it on the newspaper. Yeah. And you make a little noise too. We could be like That's the right. stop. We could make stop. music. Ding, 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 ding. You so, know, this is, you know, if you yeah. think about it, people are on the computer all the time. Mm -hmm. They're using the muscles on this side of the arm, right, that contract. They don't use the muscles that extend the fingers. Mm -hmm. So, they use the flexors, not the extensors. So, this exercise works the muscles on this side of the hand, which opens up the carpal tunnel, which can ah. help with carpal tunnel. So just one help simple. With, uh, help if you have it and if you prevent help, both. That's right. If, both. You, if you don't have it and you work on the computer a lot, when so I was it's writing, proactive too. That's right. Right. Yeah. So what we do when we do this joint yoga is we go through every joint of the body and we work it regardless of whether or not you have a problem. Right. And so yeah. the idea is, you know, you've heard if someone has a cast on their right arm, if you work your left arm out, the right arm will heal faster. Have is you that heard true? that before? Yeah, this is this is medically proven. If I break my right arm and I work my left arm out the whole time, I can't move my right arm. Really? This arm heals much Why faster. Is that? I've never heard that. Well, because if you think about it, the nervous system, this the spinal cord runs down the center of the body and it splits off left and right. The nerves innervate the whole body. Right. Mm -hmm. You're working your nervous system, not just your muscles. That's what I always say when I come in. Yes, right? you do. Yoga is so much more about the nervous system and the mm -hmm. endocrine system and then all the other tissues get so benefits flowing right into that arm. That's right. Wow. That's right. So you're increasing the blood flow, the nutrients into the opposite arm. Now, the same principle applies. Let's say you have carpal tunnel and you're doing exercises for your elbows mm -hmm. and your shoulders and your spine and your hips and your knees and your ankles. Mm -hmm. These other joints that maybe have a problem, maybe you can't move as much in those joints, you're going to get more benefit by working the whole body than just focusing uh. in, on the one part. So this joint yoga, I call it joint opening, is a system that works through every joint in the body. You can do it in like 10 or 15 minutes. We, I'm gonna just show a quick um, one for each joint. Okay. Let's All do right. um, Take off okay. my shoes here. Okay. Yeah. So um, let's just go from the head down, okay? One joint we don't typically think about is the jaw. So just think of making figure eights with your jaw, which is kind of a Ooh. bizarre thing to do. So I'm going to look funny on camera so you don't have to. So I'm going to make, <laughs> I'm gonna make figure I'm eights so with my jaw. I'm so glad it's you. Uh, 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 uh. So you do about 20 figure eights with your jaw going both ways. And then you'll yawn whispering wah. Okay, so it looks like this. Stretching the face. The wah sound actually opens up the back of the throat and it stimulates the thyroid and the parathyroid. So when I work my jaw, I'm working my joints. A lot of people have TMJ, mm -hmm. yes. a lot of problems, tightness in the jaw, yes. which, you know, headaches, a lot mm -hmm. of connection between that. But it also can affect the thyroid and the parathyroids. So working your jaw, again, affecting in this area. Well, will that help the thyroid? That will help thyroid function. Huh. I have one student that had no thyroid function. 
um, doing this joint yoga and a few other techniques mm -hmm. regained her thyroid function completely off medication. Really? Um, wow. Yeah, yeah. And of course, that's regulating your metabolism, so you can lose weight. A lot of this, you know, it's interconnected. So if you have a thyroid, which problem, is all governed by the endocrine system. The endocrine system, right? Yeah. So maybe you're holding weight and you're going to the gym five days a week, yeah. but it's a thyroid problem. Yes. So once this is in balance, it can affect a lot of things. Another way looking up looking down just really simple exercises but if you do just say 10 of these a day looking over the shoulder oh, sleeping. looking over the shoulder <laughs> you know what we need to work on this all right here's one for the shoulders i love this one you're holding two paint brushes in your hands mm -hmm. and you're going to draw figure eights in front of you all right Drawing oh. figure eights in front. Of oh, how sweet is that? There you go. You know what? I'm it's kind of like row, row, row your boat. Yeah, but gently down the street. Gently down the street. Is that why kids are so healthy? Yeah, <laughs> that's right. Play. They know how to play. They are play. So, okay, let's just look at this. I'm moving my shoulder through all the ranges of motion, right? External rotation, internal rotation, going up, down, to the side. It's moving through all the ranges oh, of motion, oh, which is yeah. great for my it shoulder is. joint. Yeah. But the shoulder joint is connecting right up into the top of my lungs. Okay, so this is also a great exercise to open up the lungs. If somebody has bronchitis and they're mm -hmm. coughing all the time and they do this 50 times each way for about a week, that'll help with their bronchitis. Somebody who has asthma, um, any wow. kind of lung problems, that will help a lot. That's huh? amazing. This is a really nice one. This is called waist twisters. Just really simple. I'm going to be just letting my arms be like spaghetti flowing back and forth. This works the whole spine, okay? Limbering all the vertebrae. People that have arthritis, this is working the entire spine, spinal cord, mm -hmm. and it'll bring more blood flow to all the joints in the body. It's not just a spinal exercise. So is this a daily routine I we should do? I do this every morning. This is how I start. In literally 10, 15 minutes, if I have more time, I'll do it for like 45 minutes to an hour and get really in depth. But you can do just, if you just do yeah. the ones I'm showing today, 10 minutes or so. You know, the thing that makes, I think, these exercises different is, is the awareness that you bring to it. Mm -hmm. Is the awareness that you bring to it. Let me show a simple exercise for the hips. Uh, this is just drawing circles with my kneecap in front of me. Uh -huh. Okay. Both directions. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. Again, 10, 20 times. This is going to work the large muscles of the hip and really stimulate the hip joint. Now we've got large blood vessels that run right down the inside of the leg, mm -hmm. femoral artery. That's going to increase blood flow through the whole leg. If you have knee problems, working your hip is going to help your knee. Wow. Say you've got feet problems. A lot of people have, you know, flat mm -hmm. foot or real painful heels. This will help with that, both sides. I'll show one for the knee on this side. Just a really simple, this is called hinging. You're just hinging the knee. Yeah. That's it. But doing it 10 times, 20 times so every single morning. So is it almost like lubrication like in an automobile? That's a word that I use in class all the time. Lubricate the joints. Yeah. Right? That's called your synovial fluid. If it's, if it's full and it's healthy, the joints are fluid. If it starts drying up, then mm. the joints start hurting. Arthritis yeah. can set in. Really simple one for the foot. Just ankle circles. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, that Again, these are, it's, so it's good. kind of a no-brainer. And people think because it's so simple yeah. that maybe it's not effective. If you do it every day, yeah. you get the benefit. Yeah. Right. Fabulous. Let's just finish with this last one. This okay. one's to relieve stress. This is called scooping. I'm going to scoop up my body. Inhale. And I'm going to exhale with the sound. Paw. Paw. Scoop up. Paw. One more time. And Kane, what's that doing? Paw. This is like a stress relieving okay. action and it also vibrates the whole body. You can see the whole body vibrates. Remember your body's water, right? Mm. So imagine you have a bottle of water and you just mm. shake it up. That shake up of the body invigorates the blood in the whole body. In fact, it makes you warm. If you do it a few times, I'm mm. just about to sweat just from doing that three times. Wow. It really invigorates the blood. Now, why is that important? All those good hormones that we just produce through these movements mm -hmm. circulate all through the blood. That's using the endocrine system for longevity, keeping the joints, the organs, all the tissues healthy and vital. And you know what? This, that's why we have Kane on the show. Love Kane, and I love the benefits I get from I'm your workouts. So, I I so we'll email you just, the benefits yeah. later on. So Perfect. make sure you get those. I feel like a million bucks right now. <laughs> I'm not kidding. You, and I know Kane would approve of the uh, food that Jan's cooking oh, yeah. in the kitchen because it's almonds. A lot of almonds. And we we already almonds, had our almonds. share of them, didn't we? Before? Kane, thank you. You're welcome. As always, Kane, thank you so very, very much. We learn so much when Kane is in the house.